Hello everyone and welcome back to our cabin with the Red Lantern where we've now got all of our puppers here. Look at everybody. We've got Slayer, we've got Finn, Chompers hanging out right by our side. Stilton is keeping an eye on everything right in the background. Iggy is sleeping in a pile of snow just like Noodle. Gail is hanging out in her awesome little leggings next to them. Then we've got Bodega and Barkley proudly sitting by the side and rounding off our whole family. Isn't that so much fun you guys and we've got our awesome journal covered in all sorts of stickers this this is really adorable this is really fantastic and this may very well soon be the end of this What's arc to take care of of our adventures here with the red lantern because friends we are so very close we are only missing two things from the checklist of our plans uh we're also missing the fishing rod which we'll continue to try to find and the last dog that we need to get the sticker from is chomper our boy chomper the og the original the puppers who we adopted back in california and have kept by our side for so so long now he is the last one that we need to go ahead and work with in order to get all of our puppies stories completed so that is going to be our goal for now is to continue to go out until we can have chomper chase enough squirrels that we can unlock his story and complete our whole family basically and then of course in the future we will try to find more of the natural beauty living off the land hanging out with the fluffy friends the weasel the bear the owl the rabbit the moose all of these animals still have a few other sections to fill in but i think after we fill out chomper's story i might think about making that something that we will potentially do in future streams where we can all just hang out and sit back and enjoy it while the random generation presents us all the opportunities that, that might allow us to learn a little bit more about the noble squirrel or the fantastic beaver. But I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you want to carry on with more adventures like this together so that we can fill all of this out, then that'd be really fun so we could continue to imagine what it would be like to be in the Alaskan wilderness. And one day, maybe we actually will get a chance to go there. That would be pretty amazing. All right, let's get back on the trail. We're going to have Chomper in the lead, and we're going to try to find either the fishing rod or a bunch of squirrels. All right, let's go back on the trail. Uh, we're going to go on a training run instead of a zen run. Lead dog is going to be Chomper. Let's also bring Bodega with us because we didn't have him last time. Let's bring Iggy with us. Let's bring Stilton with us. And let's bring, let's see, Finn with us this time. With Chomper, yeah, as Chomper as the lead dog now will allow us to try to push his story to the forefront as well. Yay, and we're starting with a whole bunch this. of supplies. All right, we've got this. Mush on, pups! All right, so now we just need to find tons of squirrels for Chomper and work our way maybe to... Let's try going in the middle maybe this time so that we can see if we can finally find that fishing rod. Work on the road or two. All right, we'll start with Ha. Huh? Honestly, what we need to do to attract a bunch of squirrels around the place so we can unlock Chomper's story is just take out a ton of birdseed. That would do it. Oh, look! It looks like there's something out there. It's another one of the caribous that's actually got the shedding antlers. Are you okay? Okay, let's go ahead and try to get a clean shot on this. So that that way we can start off strong with a lot of food for our pups. Because the five food we have is not going to last us forever. Alright, and... That was just the best shot I had. This isn't oh. a zombie thing, right? I don't want to be undead. <laughs> You know, I hope that Thanks they're... Thanks for waiting, pups. Mm, I don't like to think about zombies. They're actually one of my top meat. things that I'm still afraid of. More bullets left. I'm, like, petrified of the idea of zombies. Right. It's gotten on. less bad as the years have gone on and the years since I watched The Walking Dead continue to grow between us. But zombies, definitely creepy. Ugh, yeah, I've got the jitters just thinking about it. All right, let's see. Any squirrel around here? Not yet. Oh, wait, is that a cabin? Hey, now. We've got to investigate that. That usually has squirrels, okay. sometimes bears. So there's just a creepy abandoned cabin sitting over there. Um. Oh boy. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to sneak up on us. Do we check it out? Yeah. There might be something useful in there. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. So let's see what's waiting in here. Do I knock? I should knock, right? I want to kick the door down. Yeah. 
All right, let's bolt if it's a bear. Anything hiding in here? Ooh, bullets. bullets. Nice! That was the, the least harm okay? we have taken from a creepy cabin in ages. And actually, we're done here. Let's you go. know, guys, that makes me think, could you guys handle the isolation? Like, seriously, the sun's out right now, so it's easy to think about when we've got the mm. dogs in front of us. Let's go. Let's go. G. G. Because we went haw last time. So it's easy to think about, you know, having the dogs with us. The sun is out. There's a caribou in the distance. But could you handle being all it's alone? Away, but it's here. What should we do? All right, we're going to go ahead and leave it. You're right. That's too far. Because we're Let's looking go. for squirrels. And we already have a ton of food. I don't want to be greedy. And we have a lot of bullets. But, I mean, it's just us. So if you started thinking about zombies or other things that scare you all by yourself in the middle of the night with the snow packed around you. <gasps> oh, a little bear cub. Bear cub. Okay, where there's a bear cub, there's a oh, mama. Where are you off to? Uh, let's run away. Because mom's probably like right around the corner. And that's not a squirrel. And we're on squirrel search mm -hmm. right now. Let's go. And this time we'll go, huh? Ha! Huh. And we'll eat pretty soon too. Ah, but you guys, yeah. I don't know if I could handle, and the dogs are hungry, so let's go ahead and camp. I don't know if I could oh, handle. Squirrel. Yes, squirrel! Please don't see it, Chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Let's do it. Let's check it out. See? He this is what we need. Life. Hey, little buddy. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very perturbed. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? All right, so go for it, Chomper. Oh. Oh, no. What? Chomper? You downed it in one gulp! Okay, fine. I'm proud of you. Now let's take that full belly back on the trail. Come on. <laughs> Yay! All right, so he's found his prey drive. Chomper, and I do you mind not releasing everyone all the time? I go, think Chomper. that's actually supposed to be, like, his quest. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, and the sun is starting to go down, and now I've got goosebumps thinking about how scary it would be to be on your own in the wilderness break, here. Pups. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful right now. I mean, just look at it. And I can just imagine how accomplishing it would feel just to sit there on a boulder or hopefully something a little warmer than a boulder, probably my sled, and stare out across the snowy mountains and the forest and know I am here and I've gotten here under my own power. The few times I've gone on big hikes and I've looked down on what the view looks like, to be honest, usually I don't feel it at that moment when I'm like standing on the top of, say, when we went on a hike at Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina. You look down and you see the sprawl of the mountain range around you and it's covered in trees and greenery. And you would think that would be a moment where I would feel really like, wow, I've accomplished something. I did it. But to be honest, when I'm that high up, I'm so scared because all around you are a bunch of cliffs and things that you could fall off of. However, however, when I'm coming back down from a mountain like that, down from a big hike like that, and I see how much I did to get to the top because I'm walking it again, going the other direction, that's when I'm often filled with a huge sense of accomplishment. Sometimes when I'm feeling kind of stressed and I wonder if I have gotten anything done, I'll write down a list of the things that I've recently done and then I'll make myself read that list backwards. And somehow that makes me feel a sense of accomplishment too. Hmm. I guess maybe there's a bit of a, a sort of life lesson in that. If we're always just looking ahead of us and never kind of glancing behind us to see the footsteps of how we have gotten to the place we're at, it makes a lot of sense how you would feel like you were just running on like a hamster wheel or you hadn't really accomplished anything. So I guess that's why I like mountains. If you get to the top of a mountain, you are forced to walk back down it. And that means you have time to reflect on what you've actually accomplished and what you've done. So if I could focus on that, I wouldn't be so scared for sure. But if I'm focusing on zombies and it's the middle of the night and it's cold and snowy and I just have a bunch of puppies around me who, you know, might bark and attract the zombies, no, no. <laughs> but do you guys have would be nice. any irrational fears that at least I'm well practiced just kind of get to you sometimes? I know my mom very much I'm ready to cook some food. Dislikes sunset. She does not like being alone at sunset. And I've never met anybody else who feels like that. 
And my sister, she hates dolls. Like, the type that look like little porcelain dolls with the fancy little lacy frou-frou bonnet things. Uh, apparently somebody let her watch Chucky at way too young of an age, and so she's terrified of those dolls. Good time! And puppets. Bow down, pups. Hmm, maybe I should read, like, a cozy winter thriller. What do you guys think about that? Maybe that would be fun, just reading, like, a cozy winter thriller while you're huddled up in the snow. Ah, or maybe I would just terrify myself. So what would you do? I want to know, actually. I'm really excited, and I've been thinking about doing more books over on our vlog channel as, like, a little booktube thing, because I love reading and, and just the adventures that inspire me in our lives. And um, I've been wondering, like, would you guys read thrillers? that kind of make you feel even more spooked at night if you were all by yourself? Or would you be like me and would you focus on things that make you feel warm and fuzzy inside so that you don't get scared? Get back on the trail? Let's get back out there. There's probably a time and place for both things, but I'd love to know. Thinking about more about you guys makes this seem like a journey where we're being companions and not so much where we're completely isolated hundreds and hundreds of miles from anybody else it feels. All right. Well, Chomper found his prey drive, so I wonder if getting back home will actually completely unlock that. <gasps> Did you see that? A bald eagle! Oh, cool! Uh, no, Chomper, I don't think you can jump that high. <laughs> what do you pups think? All right, let's go ahead. I want to yeah, chase let's it. Let's see where it's going. We're not going to hunt it because that is illegal. You're a lot bigger than I expected. I, I just want to admire it. To shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Huh. So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? Oh, bunny. Okay, then. Is Chomper gonna get it? Chomper, do your thing. I probably shouldn't give into your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. We are gonna have so right much now. future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. <laughs> All right, I think actually letting Chomper kind of give into his prey Goodness. drive so that he can help us is a good thing go, Chomper. on unlocking his quest and a little bit of a mission with him. All right, carry on. We've got this. All right, so let's look for more squirrels. Let's go. Also, I think it's time to go G, G again. Yeah, I think it's time to go G again if we're going to go kind of more or less straight. Oh, caribou. How are we doing on food? We could definitely use more food. Oh, you pups see that? It's a caribou. Kind of close. But we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm sorry. Just stay there. Okay, okay. And... Come on, I feel like that was a perfect shot. Thank yes. you, caribou. We appreciate you. Now for the part I like <sighs> less. I'll meet you back at the sled, pups. Sorry about that, caribou. Thanks for waiting, pups. Gotta do what we gotta do. Some more food. All right, let's secure that. Five bullets left. Let's I get back out I think we'll make it. We're still... Mm, every time we get a big handful of food, I always think, oh, this is plenty. We don't need to do any more hunting. But to be honest, like, it's still more than halfway to the, the cabin again and to see if we manage to complete Chomper's special quest and unlock his accessory. So maybe we do need to like worry a little bit more about food. Chomper, it's not a long squirrel, it's a weasel. Okay, Eat Chomper. It. No, 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 go for it, go for it, go for it. See, it got away. <laughs> Cute. Come on, buddy, you gotta believe me. Okay, he got more hey, food. Buddy. I didn't realize one squirrel hunt was gonna release such a single-minded creature. You're really good at this, but also you don't have to go after everything. Chomper loves living off the land. Get back to the others. That's adorable. Also, could you stop chewing the line all the time, bud? You can't all keep escaping to check out whatever you want. The pups do okay? Nice. Let's be safe out there. Yeah, I think Chomper is living off the land just fine, and he's definitely going to be the terror of any Let's squirrels who try to mess with our bird feeder. Unfortunately, he's probably going to be the terror of any birds that show this up at our bird good feeder spot too. To all right, let's give him a little pet for all of his troubles. And not you think about the dark really setting in zombies. Though it would be nice if you didn't derail our journey by chasing squirrels. Nah, you can chase all the squirrels you want, buddy. All right. 
<sighs> I'm going to go ahead and get ready to feed myself and take a little nap with Stilton watching over our trap. And then hopefully we won't wake up to zombies. And then we can carry on working our way back home and wrapping up this amazing arc of adventures in Red Lantern, bringing all of our puppies together to make a big family next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Chomper. And if you uh, would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.